All right, guys, in this example here, we have steam entering in through a turbine at steady state. We have the pressure and temperature at the inlet, and then we have the temperature and the um, quality at the exit. We're told that we have no straight heat transfer, so heat transfer equals zero, and then kinetic and potential energy are both conserved, so those are also canceled out. We're asked to find the power of the turbine in kilojoules per kilogram of steam flowing through it, and we're also looking for the specific and uh, the change in specific entropy from the inlet to the exit, and that's going to be in kilojoules per kilogram, or sorry, kilojoules per kelvin per kilogram. So that's just AKA kilojoules per kilogram kelvin um, of steam flowing. So if you recall, the work of a turbine, we'll call it WT, is equal to the inlet enthalpy minus the exit enthalpy. So we need to basically just fetch these values. So at T1 equals 200 Celsius and P1 equals 1 megapascal, or 10 bar. Let's figure out where we are on the, um, the phase diagram. So if we go to 10 bar, which is down here, we see that the saturation temperature is 179.9. So therefore, we're to the right of the vapor dome. So aka, we're, a, uh, superheated, we're in the superheated region. So if we go to the superheated tables, table A4, and we go to 10 bar and 200 Celsius, we can use this specific enthalpy of 2827.9. So we have H1 equals 2827.9. Of course, that's kilojoules per kilogram. Now we have to subtract H2. So to find H2, we have a two-phase mixture and 40 degrees Celsius. So if you turn to table A2 and you go to 40 degrees Celsius, Celsius, which is all the way down here, and you look at your specific enthalpies over here, you have your uh, fluid and gas specific enthalpies, and you have a quality of 83%. So to find H2, we're going to use the relation of HF plus X times HFG, which is just basically going to be H2 equals 167.57 plus 0 0.83 times the difference, which is actually given to us, it would just be this number minus this number, which is given to us right over here, which is 2406.7 kilojoules per kilogram. And therefore, H2 is going to be equal to 2165.13 kilojoules per kilogram. So now we can plug this back into our work equation, and we'll have 2827.9 minus 21 65.13 and you'll have that the work of the turbine is equal to 662.77 kilojoules per kilogram and now we need to find the change in specific entropy which is just going to be s2 minus s1 and to find these values we're going to use the property table once again so first let's find s2 so we'll turn to table A2, and it's really going to be the same thing as, as we did to find the enthalpy, except now we're going to be using two different values right over here for the specific entropy. So we'll have the S2 equals SF plus X times SG minus SF. And this equals SF is 0 0.5725, so 0 0.5725, the unit is kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, plus 0 0.83, 83% of SG, which is 8257, minus SF once again, which is 0 0.5725. And if you plug that into your calculator, you'll have that SF equals, or sorry, S2. Let me just make that correction here. It's actually S2. equals 6.9506 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And now we just need to find S1, which is again in the superheated table of 10 bar and 200 C. So if you go over there, we just, it's pretty simple. It's right over here. We have 6.694 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So 6.694. And now if you just subtract, put it in your calculator, you'll have that it equals 0 0.2566 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin.